What a year for films. Sorry. What a year for films. Over the last 12 months, ever since the first day of 2014, we've been bombarded with a whole 12 months of magnificent movies, and London has absolutely loved it. Now, everyone is going to have their own favourite films of the year, but this is my top 10. Today, 10 to number 6. So what are you going to do? You're going to laugh. Tony Carl's got a taco truck. For real? <laughs> If you love food and you love films, then this probably ticked all your boxes. John Favreau directed and starred in this delightful film about a chef swapping high-end cuisine for a food truck. It's about finding your happiness as much as it is about food. Amazing cast, amazing soundtrack too, and it looks stunning. I'm not going to lie, when I heard they were turning the classic toy into a comedy movie, I thought it would be awful. But it turned out to be awesome, because everything is awesome. A fantastic script, an amazing voice cast, and a lot of fun. It's not just for kids. I'm a vampire. Vampire! Vampire! Do you want to draw attention to this house? Got a whole documentary crew following you around. Ah! Yep, it's that guy off Flight of the Concords. No, not the curly-haired one, the other one. That's right, Jermaine Clement. He co-wrote, co-directed and starred in this hilarious film about vampire flatmates in New Zealand. It is absolute genius and so funny that you actually probably wouldn't believe it unless you saw it yourself. It is destined for cult status, for sure. You know the scary thing about him? They don't need power, lights, heat, nothing. Andy Serkis returns as Caesar in this action sequel that perhaps delivered even more than audiences were expecting, if we're honest. Gary Oldman is among the film's human leads, but it's really all about Serkis and the brilliant Toby Kebbell as Cobra, my movie villain of the year. Are you aware? No! They are going to turn on you. They're animals! We're making a name for ourselves. Released way back in January and making headlines in February after Leonardo DiCaprio failed to add a well-deserved Hall of Awards to his collection for his performance as Jordan Belfort. Rude, crude and brash, this tale of greed, excess and success was long, but perhaps director Martin Scorsese's finest work in over a decade. Uh -huh. 